This presentation covers gain on sale with buyback. <laughs> what are the rules when we compare GAAP with the international standard? Well, for GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, for an operating lease, the gain is deferred as a liability, treated as unearned revenue, and written off over the life of the lease. For the international standard, in accordance with IAS 17 leases, as an operating lease, the entire gain on the sale and lease back would be recognized as part of income in the current year. Now let's take a look at an example so we can see the different treatments between the international standard and GAAP. So in this example, Mike sold a building to a bank on January 1st, 2017 with a gain of $100,000 and immediately leased it back for five years as an operating lease. The net book value of the building was $500,000 and we're going to assume that Mike must provide financials under the international standard. So he's got to convert what he has to the international standard. So we're first going to look at what would the journal entries have been under GAAP versus the international standard for 2017 and 2018. And then we're going to prepare the entries on the conversion worksheet from GAAP to international standard for the same two years. For 2017, the entries for GAAP and the IFRS would be different. GAAP would defer the gain as unearned revenue, setting it up as a liability, and allocate it over the life of the lease, which is five years. Under the international standard, the whole gain would be recorded in 2017. So again, here are what the journal entries would look like under GAAP. We would book the cash of $600,000. Take the building off the books. Of course, we know that's a net amount, so it actually would be building and accumulated depreciation, but we're trying to simplify it at this point. And then we would defer, we would set up a deferred gain on sale, which is a liability. And then at the end of the year, we would recognize $20,000 as gain on sale, which is the $100,000 gain divided by the five years of the lease. Under the international standard for 2017, what we would do, again, record the cash, take the building off the books, but recognize the whole gain of 100000 in that year. So already, at the end of the first year, we have the difference between these two of 80000 that is being recognized under the international standard as gain, but not under GAAP. Now for 2018, GAAP would recognize another 20,000 of the deferred gain, and under the international standard, there would be no journal entry because we've already recognized all the gain. So here are the journal entries that would be on the books. For GAAP, we would again be recognizing 20,000 at the end of the year of that deferred gain, now leaving 60,000 on the books, and under the international standard, there would be no journal entry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the working papers. In 2017, for the conversion work paper from GAAP to the international standard, we need to recognize the deferred gain, which is the difference between the 100000 and the amount that's already been recognized under GAAP, so it's 80000 And in 2018, we need to take the liability off the books by adjusting retained earnings and gain on sale for a net deferred gain of 60000 so for 2017, what we're going to do is take the, when we convert to the international standard, we're going to take the 80,000, which is the amount left over. It's the 100,000 minus the 20,000 that has been recognized under GAAP at the end of the year. So we're going to take the balance liability of 80,000 off the books and record it as a gain on sale of 80,000. In 2018, we're going to take the 80,000 out of, um, we're going to take the liability off the books and adjust retained earnings since it was recognized in the previous year under the international standard. And then we're also going to take that gain on sale and deferred gain on sale off the books, which would have been recorded by GAAP as part of their um, allocation 
so that now we are the same and we have taken that total $100,000 off the books. So in summary, what is that going to look like? All right, on the income statement side, we're going to have a difference of 80,000 that we have to account for in 2017 when we go from GAAP to the international standard. And in 2018, we have to take that $20,000 gain off the books. On the balance sheet, what we have to do is we have to take the 80,000 deferred gain off at the end of 2017, and we have to take the balance of 60,000 off at the end of 2018. So this concludes a presentation on the differences in gain on sale with lease back, operating lease, difference between GAAP and the international standard.